This three-part video series will give you a quick introduction to using Edgewise and SketchUp in combination to very quickly create high-accuracy 3D building models from laser scan data. This video flows in real time to allow audio explanations of each process and to give you a sense of the processing times involved. The first thing we'll do is import two scans of a building into the Edgewise software application. As you can see, we're looking at a point cloud. Next, we'll do an initial classification of the points. This basically finds large regions of coplanar points. Now we'll do a final classification of the points. This process hones the initial classification results and finds more detailed surfaces. Now this second classification step is much more thorough and therefore takes a little while longer. There we go. Now you can see that it found individual window panes. Next we'll extract the edges as rectilinear CAD polygons. Now we'll repeat those steps with the second scan showing the other side of the building. Now we're ready to export those CAD polygons as DXF files. Once we've done that, we're ready to move over to SketchUp and start modeling. This SketchUp project has been configured to use the Edgewise polygons as a locked snapping template as shown in the training video. The idea is that we'll draw shapes, mostly rectangles like this one, on the surfaces and then extrude them until they snap into place. As long as we're careful to snap against the edgewise template, all of our surfaces will end up as accurate as the original point cloud. Here I'll show you the recommended method for accurately modeling a window. Start with a small rectangle inside the boundaries of the real window. Then push the pane back to the glass in the background. Finally, push all the sides out and snap them into place against the edgewise template.
If you notice, we do not have full delineation of the right-hand windows. Therefore, we use the principle of symmetry and copy the left-hand windows into the right-hand spaces. We'll first make a component out of the window before copying it over, though. This keeps all the pieces together. Next, we'll model the ground floor of the building's front side. There are a number of columns and insets, so we'll start by making a scratch block to draw the different articulations on. All right, now we'll go through and draw vertical lines on each significant articulation using the rectangle tool. What we're doing here will make sense shortly. Alright, now we'll just go through and extrude each section to its snapping plane. We also need to make sure to line the edges up. Often you have to pull the polygons more than once if it gives you an offset limited to message. 